Right, and tonight drivers need to be especially careful driving home for work because of those wet roads. Elizabeth Alveta joins us uh, live right now with some driving tips. And, and Liz, what's the most important thing for everyone to remember? Well, Landon, we've seen a lot of it here tonight. We're standing here on Rock Boulevard where the speed limit is just 30 miles per hour, and yet we've seen plenty of drivers going way above that. Now, drivers need to remember to pay attention to these street signs. They're there for a reason. Slow down, maybe even drive a few miles under that limit during rainy conditions like this. Now, one resident I spoke to earlier says he sees this problem all too often during bad weather. People are trying to save an extra five or six seconds, not realizing that could mean five or six months maybe in the hospital just because they want to get off that off ramp and they've got to run ahead of other people to get off the off ramp. But slowing down isn't the only thing drivers need to do. Here are some more tips from NHP. Now keep an additional distance between you and the car in front of you to give yourself more time and more space to react. Turn off your cruise control. Now that will help to reduce the risk of hydroplaning. And even if it's still light out, turn on your headlights to see better and so that you can be seen. Now this next one is Nevada law. You've got to turn on your wipers during rain or even snowing conditions. And if your car does start to skid, steer in the direction it's sliding and slowly let off of the gas and never slam on your brakes. Slow down. I know you got places to go, but slow down. Be cautious of other people. Now give yourself more time to reach your destination. Leave your house a little bit earlier if you need to. Remember that saving lives is more important than saving yourself a little bit of time. Covering Stormwatch Live, Elizabeth Alveda, Channel 2 News.